Hello, my name is Dan. Uh, just the other day I made a uh, quick video that described how I use the uh, Rigel DSA815 to do line conducted pre-compliance emissions with a uh, listen. Uh, today I'm going to talk about just a little bit about how the to set up the uh, spectrum analyzer. Uh, we're going to be testing to class B and I have a listen uh, attached to this right now. Uh, I'm not showing the listen because I wanted to be able to get uh, full frame high resolution uh, of just the spectrum analyzer. Here's my little handy dandy cheat sheet that I use. And so the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to set up the uh, frequency bounds and uh, uh, what type of units we're going to use. So the specification says that we start at 150 kilohertz and our stop frequency is 30 megahertz. Our amplitude uh, is in dB microvolts. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the limit lines. So I'm going to go into trace pass fell, pass fell, turn it on. And I'm going to go to setup, edit. So we're going to enter in our first point and we're going to enter in the frequency of our first point. That's the 150 kilohertz. Okay, and our amplitude that we start out at, uh, we're going to be looking at the average uh, limit. So this is 56 dB microvolts. Okay, so we've got our first point in. We're going to go to our second point. And there's point two. And the second point of the specification is 500 kilohertz. and it should drop down to 46 dB microvolts at this point. 46 dB microvolts. And we want the first point and the second point to be connected with a line, so I'm going to say connected yes. It's hard to see, but we'll see it in a minute. So that's drawn a little line. See this purple line is what we're working with right here. Okay. So we need to enter in our third point. Our third point is five megahertz. And it is the uh, same level, so 46 dB microvolts. And we want to connect those two points. Now we can see that that line is dropped right there. Okay. At, at the 5 megahertz, it needs to go back up to 50 decibels. So we're going to add another point, and we're going to specify, I can't exactly put in the exact frequency of the previous point, so I'm going to put in something that's very close to 5 megahertz. 5.001 should work megahertz. Okay. Amplitude. This is the 50 decibels. And we want connected. Yes. Okay. Our next point is the 30 megahertz, the ending point of this measurement. And the amplitude there should be 50 dB. And we want it connected. Yes. Okay. So now we see there's our limit lines. Okay. Next thing I'm going to put in is the correction factor for the listen. The listen has it has a built-in uh, uh, limiter and uh, attenuator for safety purposes. We need to make sure that uh, the analyzer knows about that external 
uh, transient peak limiter and attenuator. So I'm going to come into amplitude and I'm going to go into corrections and uh, we'll just call it a cable and I'm going to edit this and I'm going to give it just two points. I'm going to give it the full range of the spectrum analyzer. So I'm going to go 9 kilohertz to 1.5 gigahertz. 9 kilohertz. Amplitude 10 dB. I'm going to go back to the... I need to put in a second point. I'm going to give it the full range of this machine. 1.5 gigahertz and I'm going to put in another 10 dB. Okay, so now we've got the uh, corrections. We have the limit lines. Now we just need to do a couple more things for the uh, analyzer. We're going to go into the bandwidth detector and the RBW per the spec by EN 55022 CISPR 22 says that it should be 9 kilohertz. So RBW manual, I'm going to go to 9 kilohertz and we should also make sure that the detector is in positive peak. Here's our settings, it is in positive peak. And let's go back to filter type and we're going to go to the EMI for the filter type. Next thing is we want to make sure that we have an attenuator turned on in the analyzer for safety purposes. Okay, you can already see that it's turned on here. Input attenu attenuator, we're going to go to manual and it's already set there but we're going to put in 10 dB. Now, to get a little bit better range here, uh, I'm going to change the reference level to something lower. I'm going to go to, say, uh, 87 dB microvolts. And I'm going to do 5 dB per division. Oh, that was too much. So let's go back to 10 dB. That should work. Okay. Uh, that is the basic setup. I guess we can take the sweep a little slower. And I'm going to go to manual. And let's do something like three seconds. Okay, that is my settings for this uh, spectrum analyzer. Uh, you can't see it in the picture, but I'm going to turn on the listen. And that's just our background noise. I'm going to insert a noisy uh, AC to DC USB charger. There you have it.